It was Judgment Day for Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan, facing a no-confidence vote. After the massive earthquake and tsunami devastated much of the country's northeast coast, many had felt his government was too slow to respond and rebuild. The disaster left more than 24,000 people dead or missing, as well as crippling a nuclear power plant. Critics have complained about delays in construction of temporary housing for evacuees. In the early days, as many as half a million were left homeless. More than two months later, 100,000 people were still living in emergency shelters and dependent on handouts for the basic necessities. Former ruling party chief Ichiro Ozawa was among those who said Khan's performance has just not been good enough. We have not seen any decisive action from the prime minister nor from his cabinet. In response to his detractors, Khan declared he'd be willing to resign once the recovery takes hold. As Khan put it, once post-reconstruction efforts are settled, he'll pass on his responsibility to younger generations. His readiness to go resonated with lawmakers in Parliament, who responded to the Prime Minister's plea to let him stay on for a bit and push ahead with measures to bring Japan through its crisis. Khan won the vote in the 480-seat lower house by a margin of 293 to 152, with the rest absent or abstaining. The chairman announced the no-confidence vote had been defeated, and the prime minister responded with a bow. But even if he's bought himself some time and averted a split to his party, Many don't believe Khan will remain in office long. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.